Oh, so tired. Hey, everybody, I'm back, and today I'm going to talk to you about the 24 hour cancer dance a thon that happens in Irvine, California. It's put on by Nikki and Shasha Marvin, uh, from, of course, from Orange County. It's a charity event that raises money for the City of Hope Cancer Research Center in uh, Los Angeles, California. City of Hope is recognized worldwide for its compassionate patient care, innovative science, and transitional research. It's been around for nearly 100 years, and the City of Hope is a pioneer in research for cures for cancer and diabetes. The venue for this event is uh, a 24-hour fitness ultra, one of only, I think, two or three in the country. And uh, so, yeah. 24 hours, 24 hour fitness goes hand in hand. To participate in the event, you just join a team online. Each team consists of about 15 people and together you raise money to donate to the City of Hope. Now since it's a dance-a-thon, you always have to have someone dancing. So within a team, you just have one person going out there at a time. It stays on the dance floor for however long and each team does their assigned shifts and, and people make camp, basically. They set up a tent, they bring in mattresses, they bring in sleeping bags, everything they might need into the venue. And they can either stay there and sleep there or they can go home and come back for their allotted shift. The event works like this. A band starts playing, then a lesson, then some DJ music, then a band, then a lesson, then a DJ music. All the bands, DJs, instructors donate their time. It goes in about half hour shifts. Sometimes it changes up, but basically it goes like that. So the later it gets into the event, people get a little tired, maybe not so much dancing. So they have some activities like they play karaoke, they do relay races between teams, they have silent auctions that go on pretty much the, almost the entire 24 hours. Uh, they consist of free dance shoes, free dance lessons, um, they set up blind dates. And they have a big t-shirt making contest. This year it went to one of the teams that made a freaking dragon out of t-shirts. It was pretty amazing. Now remember this. It's not a dance event by any means. Yes, there is dancing, but it's a charity event. It's purely to raise donations for a good cause. Please come out and enjoy the time, but really try to raise some money while you're there. Um, I definitely talked to a few people and they said they wish they had started earlier. If they had known it wasn't really a dance event, that it is a charity event, and that kind of takes your mind in a different place. I know some people that raised over $200 in just a couple days. So uh, please, if you come to this event, make sure you raise some money. It's a great cause, and you're, and you're getting so much for free. You know, a little bit goes a long way. A couple of dollars here, a couple of dollars from coworkers, a couple of dollars from friends. Maybe you're at a dance event and you hold a taxi dance and all that, all that money goes into donations. This year's event actually raised over $124,000 uh, in donations. Up to the day of the event, they had about 90000 and then they reached the rest of that 34000 within the 24 hours itself. Speaking on next year's event, Shesha gave us a goal of raising 200000 for next year. And it's not impossible because one year they did go to 180000 20 more thousand dollars and you got it. By then, the Dance-a-thon would have raised over a million dollars for cancer researchers. So there you have it, a 24-hour cancer dance-a-thon in Irvine, California next year. Uh, it'll probably be in November. I'm not exactly what, sure what date it is. It's usually around this time before Thanksgiving. Uh, please go to danceathon.org. Get, get it right there. And uh, find out how you can participate in the 2012 Cancer Dance-a-thon. As for a wrap-up, I'd like to congratulate Nikki and Shasha Marvin along with their board of directors, which I'm sorry I don't have your names, but you know who you are. Uh, thank you for your tireless work and thank you for your compassion in working this event. It's a great cause and uh, it actually brings some more meaning into our dance, our Lindy Hop world. So thank you very much and congratulations to everybody and especially congratulations to the City of Hope for their large donation. <laughs> okay, until next time. I'm Mikey. I'll see you later. The bands come in and they donate their time. That was the stupid mail thing.